Yo, what's the word? It's your boy 16. If you like the content on this channel, I want to ask you to like, comment, and subscribe. And don't forget to click that bell for post notifications. Also, I got a website at www.16shotonvisuals.com. But that's enough of me talking. Let's get to what y'all came to see. What's the word? Let the people know we got on 16 Shot on Visuals. Got THFTP from 46. You know how the fuck a color bag. GGRG, Troublemakers. You know how we color. You know, we were supposed to do an interview a minute ago. I don't yeah. know what the fuck happened. Yeah, you bogus. <laughs> <laughs> You've been spinning me, but it's cool. Just, we had that on the photo a long time. I'll be time. busy. You ain't the only person I ain't gonna lie to you. <laughs> yeah, it'd be, it be me too, bro. I'll be high. I'll be high, bro. I'll be <laughs> We supposed to be like though. We had that on photo. We gonna do it right. Hell yeah. First thing I wanna ask you is about your name. As far as like the meaning of your name. Oh yeah, my name basically my my name stamp what I am. Shit, you know. Oh, I got it from me. You know, T A T is what I am, and then T P that's me. Two pistols. You feel me, buddy? You know. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. That's what T P stand for. Two pistols. Just case shy though. Now I don't want two. <laughs> So for the people that don't really know uh, what TH THF is, can you explain like the area and, and you know where you came from? Oh yeah, we yeah we, well I I come from the CJBs, 45th and Cottage, like some projects. They two down now though, but we from 43rd Cottage, 46 Cottage, all the way over to 43rd. And, you know from 43rd to 47 Cottage go to Lake Park basically. That's what that's what that's our shit. Then we got Phono, Phono on Princeton and shit, and Snakes. Shout out phone on ATHL too. You feel me? So we just a family though, you know? Yeah. That's really where we at though. So you know you said you had uh stayed somewhere else before? Before staying over there? Cottage. On Cottage oh, yeah. Grove. Like on Cottage Grove it was some project, two project buildings that was right there. Like that's why I was that's why I was oh. born at. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. I I ain't come from no nowhere else then. Yeah. Come on 47th Street. Like I was always right there. So, you know, most of the people who uh, left the project building, did a lot of them move over there too? Or was it just all over? Yeah, 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 motherfuckers spread it out. Then it was other projects like Fifth Ward, then you got the Rosenwald, see what I'm saying? Yeah. It's a lot of air motherfuckers just spread it out all through the low end though. So how was it for you when you uh, left your project? You know, was it like way I different? Ain't when, I, when I left the project, I was a shorty. Like, I, the project got too damn popular when I was like five or six or something, so I went. Oh, yeah. I don't want no shit then. Basically regular for Yeah, it was regular. It was regular shit. Like, I used to hear about shit happening afterwards, but I don't remember none of that shit. Yeah. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie, I don't remember none of that shit. So when you moved to 4 6, like, did you notice any any differences when you first moved? I know you said you was young, but was it something, like, that, that shocked you? Oh, yeah, you? it was just like I moved from a project building to another. Oh, yeah. Another high-rise building, but it wasn't a project building. It was like an upper-class high-rise. So. I, that shit came from, you know what I'm saying, school. You know what I'm saying? But really. Linking up with motherfuckers in school and shit. So, that's how it really had that 4 6 shit started. With me. Yeah. As a shorty here, yeah. So, how was it for you coming up over there? As far as, you know, like teenage years, early, that shit early was, childhood? That shit, <laughs> that shit was crazy. But it was fun, though. We was kids and shit. Motherfuckers doing regular bad shit, throwing rocks and. Hit motherfuckers with uh, paintball guns and shit like that. As a kid, the motherfuckers fighting. You know how that shit go. Motherfuckers one going to school, motherfuckers smoking weed. Yeah. Regular, regular little kid shit. You got any like crazy stories that you remember from from a shorty that stuck with you? Shit. Yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> um, one time, me and my boy Bob, rest in peace, my boy Bob Kamari on phone now. We high as hell. All the guys we walk up to Papa House. First, go on that bitch and order a box of biscuits. That shit was the funniest shit ever to me. <laughs> Come on, phone that, you know, it's 12 of the bitches coming. What the fuck is that? We had yeah. sale. That was, I don't know, that was one of the funniest moments in my life. I'll just never forget that. That shit always be stuck in my head. And me and Phil's birthday, like on the same day type shit. Y'all ate all them bitches? Hell no. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> that sound like suicide. Oh, phone that, that shit was funny though. That was one of the funniest moments in my life though. Uh, that shit always be stuck with me, phone no. So, how is it over there, like in the area? Like, is it all like buildings or is it some houses, some buildings? No, it's nice as hell over there. Yeah. Like, talking about like now, yeah, it's nice as hell. It was always a, 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 a upscale looking area. It was just the motherfuckers that was in it. Yeah. <laughs> oh, fucked up. <laughs> motherfuckers, one fucked up over there. That's what it was. You know what I'm saying? It wasn't, it wasn't dirty over there, man. 
So it wanted to, you go over there, it won't even look like the shit happened over there. Yeah. But it was happening. Like it's, that shit slowed down on now. So is that area considered High Park or? It's Bronzeville. Yeah. High Park, like a couple blocks over. Yeah. So what were some of the struggles coming up over there, oh, if any? For me, it was just a lot of fighting and shit going on. Motherfuckers being outside, getting caught for curfew, shit like that. For me, as coming up as a shorty, fighting and shit, not going to the crib, motherfuckers. Getting caught doing little stellar shit, little, you know? Yeah. Little petty little shit as a kid, you know, everybody go through that shit. So how was school though? Like, did you, was school something you I was you decent liked? in school, to yeah. be honest. I was decent in school. I ain't gonna lie. All the way from first to eighth grade, I was decent. Freshman year grade, I, was, I mean, freshman year, I was decent. Sophomore year, I started fucking up. What changed sophomore year? Shit. I don't know, a situation just happened. <coughs> a situation happened, I was involved there, and that shit just kind of drew me away from that shit. Yeah. I ain't even gonna lie to you. So you had stopped going? Yeah, I had stopped going to school for a little minute, then going back. I wanted to just get my GED type shit. I ain't gonna lie to you. That's how that shit went. So, you know, as a shorty, did you ever have, like, any dreams to, to do something, like, astronaut, anything crazy? Who? Shit, anything, like, who? I you say who? who? I thought you said who. Yeah, yeah, who. And I was always decent at writing and reading. I was always decent with that type of shit. I never did really like math, though. I ain't F's in that shit. <laughs> so when did you start getting into the music? Uh, I say probably like oh, like oh six, oh seven. Cause I ain't gonna lie, Big Bro, no Ben started rapping and shit, like making little diss tracks and shit against each other and shit, like on some <laughs> player type shit though, you know. So I always want to do that shit. Like then I seen other motherfuckers rapping too from Chicago and shit, like bump. Yay, Twister. Yeah. On phone now, so. And I was always decent with words, so. Like I said, I used to like that shit. That's really what made me want to rap, though. So, do you take music serious now? I try to. I'm just gonna real, real, real shit that other than music be happening, for. I ain't gonna lie, bro. Like, other what, shit be happening, man. What be some things that get in the way for. I ain't gonna say get in the way, it just slow you down. It don't make, it don't make music your number one priority. Nothing, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And I got my little baby girl, so that's another reason why I slowed down. Like, but I still, I still always record. I'm always working. But it's a different way I just drop my music now. You know what I'm saying? I try to own everything. I try to own everything. I don't just push it on YouTube. I don't just do that shit no more. I try to make sure my shit legit before I drop it.